Hello, everyone. Welcome to another virtual episode of ISA 2021 with Everlight. My name is David Banks, presenting from Orlando, Florida. And today I'm going to be talking about our Ever Neon series. So for those of you unfamiliar, our Ever Neon series is an LED neon replacement product that Everlight offers. Um, and if you're also unfamiliar, some reasons you'd go with a neon product over traditional neon is power savings, reliability, uh, robustness, waterproof, um, low voltage is easier to install, and a multitude of reasons. So what I'm going to talk about today is two different types of series of Ever Neon we have, as well as the different colors, connectors, and different options we have. So the first series I'm going to talk about is our Elite Series Ever Neon, and this is the one in my hand up here and on the wall to my left. Um, so this is a uh, flexible LED neon replacement product. It has a 270 degree beam angle. And the reason for that is it gives you face illumination as well as a nice profile illumination when it's flush mounted into the track. This product has the ability to flex horizontally and that is the only flexible option that's available for this product. Um, the other product I'm going to talk about today would be our Freedom Series product. So the only difference between the Elite Series and the Freedom is the face of this is more of a square shape. It's flat. It doesn't have that radius the other product has, um, as well as the profile is square. And an advantage of using this one or why you would use this product over the Elite Series is because this product is available in both horizontal bending arrangements relative to the illuminating face, as well as a vertical bending arrangement. But it's important to note that you can only get one or the other. So your options are horizontal bending or vertical bending. So the first thing I'm going to discuss today is single color and what that all entails. So the Elite Series, our most popular Ever Neon Series, comes in a multitude of single colors. It comes in red, green, blue, and amber with a color matched housing. And what that allows you to do is say during the day you have, a, um, you have this product installed like this ruby red. While it's off during the day, it's also going to represent a beautiful ruby red. Um, and that kind of allows you to keep your brand color you're going for uh, while saving power and increasing the longevity of the product. Um, this product is also available in regular white colors. Some of the options are 2700K, 3000K, 4000K, and 5700K. Our most popular seller currently is 5700K, and the applications of this vary. So 5700K, 6000K, somewhere around there. This would be applicable to say, you had some channel letters on the building, you had a cabinet sign, something like that, that is a 6,000K product. This would be able to then match that cabinet to give you kind of a, a uniform look um, throughout your job site. Uh, now, if you're going for more of an architectural look, you'd go with probably a 4,000K product, maybe, maybe 5,000K, but maybe 4,000K product. This gives you a softer look. It's a little bit more comfortable. It fits in with more landscape features, different things like that. But it's also good in a uh, city because a lot of times traffic lights, different things like that are a, uh, a higher Kelvin temperature. So you don't want to completely lose it um, with, a, with a 3000K. Now 3000K, this is a popular option for interior applications. Um, or one application down here in Florida is by the beach. There are ordinances, correct, right, for... Um, for the sea turtles and different things like that. And it's a requirement that you have a, a warmer, more comfortable color. And these are all available um, for you to purchase. One thing I want to make note of too is the regular colors. And what I mean by regular colors is red, green, blue, amber, and the different variations of color temperatures of white are available with no MOQ. So those can be ordered and there's no minimum required. But say, for example, you had a location where man, I really want a cyan, pink, magenta, coral, and purple. Um, now, this may not show up so well on the camera, but uh, I assure you that these are uh, specialty colors. And how we achieve that is we actually alter the color of the strip light that is inside of the neon itself. Um, one advantage to doing something like this is you can achieve a coral color, uh, say a pink or whatever these specialty colors are without having to use an RGB controller to achieve that. Um, if you don't want to necessarily control or change the color, then you would purchase something like this. Now a product like this, there is an MOQ associated with that and that is determined based off of the color. Um, if you do need samples of these type of colors, they can be available. Um, 
But if you cannot reach the MOQ, another easy way to reach this would be to use an RGB uh, controller or solution like that because that's available, an RGB is available with no MOQ. Now before I get into the RGB system, I'm going to talk about the connectors and then I'm going to talk about the respective feed directions that are available for these products. So as you may be aware, the connectors on this product um, or the connectors on any LED neon replacement product are what's going to most likely cause failure. And what I mean by that is that's where water is going to intrude the product. And that's why we pay extra attention to this double injection molded um, engineered product. And the reason we do this is because it offers a double layer of protection, preventing water intrusion and increasing the reliability and durability of this product for exterior applications. So this double injection molded um, product is recommended um, for exterior applications. Now say you wanted the same profile that the Neon offers, this uh, 270 degree mushroom cap, but you didn't want any break if you had to do a butt joint like this, you could go with the single injection mold, but we recommend this for interior applications. But as you can see, it offers a nice smooth transition. And then the third option we offer is a snap connector. Uh, this option is available when in-field cutting is required, but you may not be aware of this. All of this product is made to order. So what we do is we get the dimensions from you, we cut it to size, and you're basically gonna have it ready to install. So this is if the building uh, dimensions might be a little bit different. Uh, we can offer the snap connector. The only downside to the snap connector is there's going to be a visible break in light, but honestly, when you're standing about you know 10 feet away from this, you're not going to see um, any break in light. And uh, you know, one thing I also want to mention too is, unlike some of the other competitive products in the field, uh, with the connectors on it, even the injection molded connectors on it, you see that there is no break in light. The entire connector is illuminated, and uh, that is kind of a unique feature to our product. All right, so segueing from that, I'm going to talk about the different feed directions that are available. So if you are looking at the illuminating source here of this product, the feed direction, one second, I'm actually going to grab something with a factory connection because it's a little easier to see. So this piece would have a, a bottom feed connection, but it's available in all 90 degree orientations around this, um, this piece of neon itself. So you can have it as a side feed where it would come out this way, bottom feed where it comes out 180 degrees relative to the light source, and then a front feed where it comes out 180 degrees relative to the light source as well. Um, reasons we offer these different type of connectors is they give you flexibility for installation. So say if you look at this RGB wall behind me, this is flush mounted to the wall and what we have is a bottom feed connector like this. We make a penetration through the wall up here and then because it's, um, it's coming out of the back, you're able to flush mount it to the wall. Um, now say for example, you're going to mount this product to a wall where you don't have access behind it. Masonry, um, you know, some older buildings up in the Northeast, different things like that, then we would offer a front connector or a side connector. And what that allows you to do is to take this product, you mount it flush to the wall, and then your connector can come this way or this way respectively, giving you a little bit more flexibility for installation. Um, and that kind of covers the, uh, the general synopsis of the connectors. And what I'm going to do is segue from that into the RGB products that we offer as well. All right, so this is where it really starts to get exciting, talking about the RGB stuff, something that every light specializes in. So this wall behind me, um, it can do a multitude of features. Currently, it's in an RGB configuration. And this product is available in RGB, RGBW, DMX, and SBI configurations. And what I mean by that is RGB means this entire strip, all of the cut sections in here. So in this product, let me, let me show you real quick. I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you, can you nod to me if you can see that? The cut sections? Okay, so those cutting sections are basically the increments by which you can cut this product. Um, so say, let's say for example, um, you know, doing camera on math is basically, you know, the worst thing you can do. But just say for example, there's 10 cut sections here, okay? Um, all 10 cut sections are performing the same function at once. So they're, ch they're, ch they're just uh, changing from like a, they're color scrolling right now from red, green, blue, et cetera. But say you wanted to, and that's RGB, say you wanted RGBW. So can you turn it to RGBW for me? 
and, and just bear with us. We're doing this live, folks, so this is the best we got. And <laughs> to be honest, if you asked me to do this, it would take a couple hours, so, you know. All right, so that's the off configuration, full warranty in this mode. Absolutely no problem with that. Um, so what the W means is just you, it gives you the ability to add in the white. So you have this RGB functionality, um, but you basically have a dedicated white chip. So if you wanted to uh, not have a diluted white color, uh, you can just turn on the dedicated white, and it's going to be a much cleaner look. That's fine, that's fine, That's because that's where we're kind of going to go anyway. So the next version um, that I'm going to talk about is our DMX version. Um, so this is, as you can see here, it has kind of like a gradient sort of scrolling effect. And remember the cut sections I talked about earlier. So when you have a DMX controllable version, um, SPI, and we, ha we can talk about that in more detail in a private session, but basically, each one of these cut sections is addressable. You can tell each one of these sections what to do. So as you can see in this product, and it's easier if you just focus on one because you can kind of get lost in the whole wall, but you'll see from the bottom to the top respectively, it's chasing different colors, um, which is different from the RGB product. And it just gives you a lot of flexibility uh, depending on what you're trying to do. Per example, each of these being around a five inch cut section, if you were to take this product and move these vertical columns closer together, it would give you the ability to do uh, low resolution images and different things like that. Um, you know, the kind of the, the flexibility is really up to your imagination what you want to do with this product. Um, and right now, just to, okay, yeah, so there's an example of bringing in the white. So this is a, uh, this is a RGBW product. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is this is at about 50% brightness. Is there any way we can increase the brightness? About 20 brightness. Okay, 20% brightness. Okay, uh, we have to do that so you can actually physically see it on the camera because this is a very, very bright product. Um, yeah, so there you go. Really, uh, you know, really blown out there. So uh, the final thing I want to mention about this product is, you know, obviously it seems great, but what do you use it for? So you can use this for open face channel letters. You can use it for architectural um, border applications, say around a roof line, you can use it on, um, you know, window outlines on buildings, different things like that. For open face channel letters, I typically recommend a letter that's about 36 inches or larger or going around the perimeter of the letter. And the reason for that is because um, the bending restriction on this product is about 4.72 inches. So you don't want to overbend the product and cause any damage to it. Uh, I think that about wraps it up for the Ever Neon, and the next series I'm going to talk about is our Spectrum series. So let me just set this down real quick, and I'll meet you over there. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll start on this side. Why not? All right. So the Spectrum modules. A spectrum means, um, or visible spectrum means any color under the sun, and that's really what you can do with your product here. So. At Everylight, we customize basically everything here for the customer specifically. So do we have any samples of the Spectrum modules I can show them? Yeah, we got some back here. So we offer this product in a multitude of sizes. I'll take this one right here. Um, actually, before I get to the sizes, let me kind of explain what this product is. So similar to the DMX version of the Ever Neon there, each one of these modules is considered a node. So each one of them is individually addressable. That gives you the ability to control every single module in this string. So say, for example, right here, there's seven modules. All seven of them can be individually controlled. So the thing is, all signs are different shapes and sizes. Boxes are different shapes and sizes. The amount of control you want varies. So because of that, we offer this product in a multitude of different sizes. So we have an S30. Uh, S2920, R22, 33, so on and so forth. And basically what this allows you to do is you go, hey, listen, I want something that is DMX controllable like this, this sign to the left of me, but I don't necessarily need the resolution that is provided by an R42 module. So what you can do is you can put a larger module in there. You still get the grading effect, but it's going to save you on control components because you're not going to end up using as many modules. The drawback to that, obviously, is you don't have as high a resolution for control. 
So the question is, or you might be asking yourself, why would you go with a product like Spectrum? Um, and it's, to me, it's, it's very obvious. This is a premium product. It's installed in premium locations. Say it's installed on a high rise, different things like that. This product is IP68. It's fully potted and all of its connectors are factory connections, um, fully sealed IP68 connections. And I'll show you right here. Uh, so you have a male and female connector respectively. Put those together and it's as easy as that to put two strings of modules together. You have a ni nice, I mean we could do a tug of war with this thing, it's crazy. So um, let's talk about the connectors that are available. So what happens is you have a, you know, a jumper if you need to uh, jump modules over a larger distance from one letter to the next. Um, you have male and female connectors to a bare wire, say you need to uh, splice in some sort of data or power connection later. And then you have T connectors. The T connectors are nice because you can daisy chain signal from the, okay, so the signal direction is going both ways in this, but you can daisy chain the signal through this product as well as injecting power. That way if you haven't reached the maximum amount of signal, uh, you can inject power whenever you want. Uh, you might be asking yourself at this point too, I just kind of realized it myself, what is signal, what is this, what is that? Don't worry, we have all the in-house expertise to help you along with that. So, um, you know, if it, basically what we're trying to sell you on here is if you like this type of effect, uh, we can provide it for you. Um, the other thing that's interesting about this product too is we offer these mounting, I think this is the right size, but we offer these plastic mounting tabs. And what that allows you to do is you'll receive these plastic mounting tabs. Um, you'll provide, we'll be providing you a wiring diagram. And what customers have traditionally done in the past is say they have a backer. Um, for example, I'm actually going to open this up to, to explain real quick. Okay, so say in this sign right here, what we have is we have an ACM backer. And what you can do is you could put something like this or whatever your backer is onto a router and you could put small witness marks to where all of the spectrum modules are going to go. And the big advantage to that is once you put that down, then your installer can take these clips, you know, your guys in the shop can take these clips, put a single th screw through the center, and then the layout is basically done. Then the modules are going to go exactly where we tell you to put them with the wiring diagram. Um, and that just gives you a lot of flexibility um, for putting the modules in and out if necessary. It's a nice secure connection. Uh, it's really clean in the sign. It minimizes, you know, silicone use and different things like that. Um, the thing I'm going to conclude with the spectrum is um, basically just the effect that we're showing here. So as I mentioned, these are individually addressable modules. These are the R42 modules that we showed over there. Um, and kind of the effect here is like a Chevron sort of look. Let's see here. Let me see if I can. It's another thing I wasn't planning on doing on camera, but here we are. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is we have a grading effect going from the top to bottom. Um, but this product really can do almost any kind of effect you're looking for. If you want a gradient like this, if you want a flame from the bottom, if you want a raining effect, if you want a water effect, if you want different things like that, uh, we can basically make it available. Uh, the other thing that's kind of a good point is this product is available in RGB. It's available in RGBW with a um, customizable white. So if you want 3000K white, 5700K white, uh, for the reasons we mentioned earlier why you would get those different colors for the Ever Neon, they're available. And it's also available in 12 and 24 volt options as well. Um, and I guess the biggest takeaway with all of these products is while we sell these products, we don't just sell them to you and go, good luck. We have a full support team. Um, we offer wiring diagrams, technical support, control support, everything like that. Um, and if you have any questions about these products, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can go on our website at www.everylight.com or you can email us at um, order at everylight.com. Uh, also, please go to our page um, for the ISA page. There's a little like button. Make sure you like it. We'll get all of your information that way. And this video will also be loaded up to YouTube later on. So if you wanted to watch it later for further education, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot more going on with these products. So if you have additional questions, please reach out to us. That's ultimately why we're here. Um, we would love for you guys to 
be interested and buy these products, but we would also love to just support you guys and show you some of the cool new signage that's really available out there. Um, and at this time, I'd be happy to field any of your questions with one of my colleagues. So come on down. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> A little pat from the staff. So do we have any questions? Yes, the first question is how do we order any of these products? Do we order them by the roll, by bag? So if you can elaborate. Sure, sure. So all of these products, um, by all of the products, do they mean the RGB products, or I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to kind of do all of them. So um, let's start with the let's start with the Ever Neon product, or let's start here because we're here. We're here. No need, no need to move the camera. So the Spectrum product. Let's say, for example, um, you had a channel letter set that was five feet tall and it said the word Spectrum in there. What would happen is you would reach out to us. You'd say, Hey, I want this effect. Say it's the Chevron style effect or some sort of gradient effect. We would provide a layout for you. And then once you have the layout, you know, we approve um, you know, pricing, everything like that. Then what we would do is we would uh, custom make this for you. We would make this to order. So you don't buy 10 modules and waste two modules. You don't buy, you know, if you need 2,000, you don't need to buy 2,500. You, you can buy exactly what you need. And what happens is each of these rolls here or each of these strings they're going to be individually labeled. So on the label, it will say, you know, say the word is spectrum. It'll be a S for spectrum, run number one, and it'll be however many modules it's going to be. In this case, it might be 16, but for example, it could be 30 modules depending on the color and different things like that. Um, then you'll receive the modules and basically install it as per our wiring diagram. And that's kind of the order processing, processing uh, part for spectrum. Uh, the Ever Neon is very similar. Um, I'm going to stay with the RGB. I'm just going to keep moving this way. Um, and the reason I want to talk about the RGB is just because it's similar to the Spectrum product. Um, this is a made to order product as well. Uh, we don't keep inventory of this. So say, for example, you needed to do around the perimeter of a building and you needed 300 feet of this product. What we would do is we would provide you with 300 feet to the closest cut section available. Um, the reason I have to mention that is because you can only cut this product, say it's the RGB one, every 4.92 inches. So if you needed something that was 300 feet, it would be the closest to 300 feet, whatever that increment is of 4.92 inches. Uh, we would customize the connectors that come on it, and um, basically you would install it as per the layout, and it's, it's ready to go. Um, so we do a custom order form, and we approve all that stuff from the get-go. Uh, and then to kind of conclude, the uh, Ever Neon product, how do you... Um, how do you order this? It's real, realistically, it's the same thing as the RGB. The only difference is you don't have to worry about the control components and different things like that. You're going to order the, uh, the neon itself. You're going to order the, the relative amount of connectors that are required, the mounting track, and the power supplies. Um, and, that, and that's pretty much it. Are there? So, the next question is for Spectrum. Um, if we actually have a project going on, but the project only requires 253 modules. Can we get 253 modules, or do we need to buy a specific set? Yeah, so that's, that's a great question. And the question was, um, if we had a project that required 253 modules, could we buy only 253? You 100% can buy 253 modules if that's what it requires. Uh, typically, what I recommend is you would buy a string or a couple extra modules, um, you know, just in the event that down the line, you want to make sure everything matches. Um, you know, those are available. But if you only wanted 253, you only have to order 253. Yep. Can you discuss a little bit about the product warranty? Oh, sure. OK. So the product warranty for the Ever Neon is a, it's a three-year product warranty. Um, and basically, what that means is if there's any defects to the product um, or any, any issues that, that cause it to fail, under regular operating conditions, it's just a direct replacement for the product. Um, for the Spectrum series over here, it's the same sort of thing. Um, this product, we also offer a, a three-year warranty on it. But um, you know, we, we were joking about this the other day. And knock on wood, uh, we have not had any issues with the Spectrum product ever. So hopefully it stays that way. And uh, Bruce, I'm sure, I hope it stays that way too. You know, knock on wood. But uh, yeah, this three, a three-year warranty, but uh, you're not going to have any issues with this product here. So those are the questions that we have as of right now. So okay. Sure.
right. Well, um, Dave, one of the things I thought that might not be clear, and if I missed it, but these are these can be exterior mounted like this. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. and, yep. And is there any kind of lens available for this? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I did not bring that up, but you can get a clear lens, you could get a slightly frosted lens like this, and you can also get a, a small dome type lens if you want it as well, just to give you um, a couple different looks. It won't look exactly like a light bulb, but it'll have a 180 degree radius. Correct. It'll yeah. Dimensional. Correct. And you get that asked a number of times. Right. Yep. Yeah. And um, so here, like you say, when they get a job, this will all be laid out for them what they need. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So um, it seems crazy when we're doing our estimates, but a lot of times we'll have an estimate and they'll go, 74 connectors, why do I need 74 connectors? It's like, because that's exactly how many connectors you're going to need to do it. I mean, it's, it's the equivalent of calculating, I'm going to need 1,294 feet of page rip strip before I do this. It's just, it seems overkill, but it's a necessity for this product, so yeah. Now on, on these, so I, if I understand right, these are available in 12 and 24 volt. Correct. Some of them are RGB and some of them are RGBW. Correct. Yep. Okay. So that gives them a lot of options. Correct. Yep. And um, I think we kind of covered it here. Yep. Go over here. Sure. Um, one of the things, and again, I, I don't, I, I think we purposely agreed to wait, but some of you might know with a keen eye that in the middle, these aren't exactly straight. And so what we're doing here is showing you what happens when you use the mounting track and don't use the mounting track. Correct. So, and this would be especially important if you're doing an exterior installation and you think about the heat. So if you decide to only put the U-channel maybe every three feet, in the heat, this is going to do this. Correct. So it's very important if it's outside, we believe, that you use the track continuous if at all possible. Correct. And again, this is just showing you uh, what happens so there's no track from here to here yep all across the board and um and i think the important thing you said too was like understanding this all the connections on all of these are all at the top correct there's yes no connections at the bottom no connections at the you bottom jump from one side to the other side no no yeah that's very interesting to understand yep and, and be aware of that i actually want to mention something about the mounting track options as well so this is our standard 40 inch mounting track uh, what it has is it, it has four ribs in here, so a rib on the top and the bottom on the left and right side respectively, and it's just a frictional fit. So basically the casing of this would push into here. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a nice tight fit. It's good for um, when you do installations like this. Now if you wanted to install this in a vertical arrangement, we have it where those ribs are replaced with barbs, and basically it physically grabs into the, into the neon itself, thus preventing it from kind of removing itself as it warms up over time. Because aluminum and PVC have different heat constants. So the aluminum is gonna expand and contract at a different rate from the PVC. And we didn't see this before. We have the white. Right. This is RGBW white. Right, right. And explain maybe what's different between that white and that white. Right, so, um, well this one is, this, what's going on with it? Gotcha, okay. So, um, is this, is this RGB plus W? Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so as you guys may be aware, um, you can mix RGB and get a white color, but it's generally going to be a little bit more blue. Um, right, so this is, uh, this is the 4000K white, like the dedicated white that's in this product. But if you wanted to um, make it a little bit higher Kelvin temperature, uh, essentially what you're doing, and I don't know if you've seen this before, but RGB mixed together, like here, RGB mixed together makes a more purple white. But when you add that with the 4000K, it gives you the flexibility to make something that replicates kind of like a 6500K white, which is really interesting and kind of shows the flexibility of the product. And that's one of the primary differences between RGB and RGBW, right. is being able to give you a very pure or tunable white. Correct. Yep. You cannot do with RGBW. Correct. It's the color of the mix. Right. I mean, you can tune it a little bit, but not like this. Right, right. Yeah. I, will, I will say, though, um, the RGB white in a neon product, because um, it has to diffuse through this, this clear layer here, it's, it's better than, than modules are. Modules are a little more, um, a little more purple because of the way the mixing occurs. We're here, this is more like a, 
um, maybe like a 7,500K or 8,000K white. I don't know if the camera picks that up, it's but- It's probably not. So you know. say that's like 775, that yeah. might be what, five or yeah. four? Yeah. And that's definitely three yeah. or yeah. less. Again, that might not show up on the camera. But, so you do have that flexibility. Yeah. Um, in the programming, and like you mentioned earlier, like on some of the custom colors, if you don't want the MOQ on like that coral, you can use the RGB to actually blend yourself a coral. Definitely. Yep. So, so RGB, I mean, if you can pick the color, if the coral works, it does save you money. Yep. If you have a specific customer-driven color to match a Pantone system, yep. you would need the RGB or RGW, yep. preferably. Yep, definitely. You need that pinpoint control. Yep. Is there any more? Uh, yes, what different, uh, I know you discussed that briefly, but what different mounting options we have for our neon? Oh, different mounting options? Okay. So. Um, I'm going to go through this quickly because I know our session is whatever time it's supposed to be. So we have a 40 inch uh, U-channel, which is a frictional fit. Uh, this basically inside of it, there's small sections where it is uh, smaller than the profile of the, the jacket of the neon. So it just pushes in there with friction. That's good for vertical and um, arrangements similar to this or horizontal mounting. Now, if you're going to invert this or turn it upside down, we have a option where there's a there's barbs in here. And what it does is it physically grabs into the neon itself. That's good for if it's inverted or upside down. And then the third option we offer is two inch mounting clips in both the frictional fit and the locking fit. Uh, the reason we offer that is say you were doing a, um, you know, bends and different things like that. And you didn't want to cut this all up by yourself. You can get a two inch piece that's already cut. It's deburred, it's, it's ready for install. Uh, you don't have to spend time deburring all these things after you cut them. So, yep. And uh, what's the voltage on these? 24 volt. 24 volt. Yep. So you have power supply options as well. Correct. Based yep. on your need. Correct. Yes. Great. And is that all the time we have? That's all the time I have. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. And we'll talk to you later. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.